Here we are inside of the addition. And right now we are in front of some still green growing trees and plants inside of the addition greenhouse. We're inside of the farther inside. So this is the first greenhouse technically. And just wanted to kind of document a little bit what's going on in here. We have gotten kind of things ready. I fired up the rocket stove the other day, but that was a couple days ago. So I haven't uh, started any fires in here. And I just wanted to kind of note, you know, for this thing being uh, somewhat complete, you know, st there's still some insulation to do and some, uh, you know, things to finish up in the rooms and outside here with mudding and whatnot. But, you know, first winter for it being semi-completed and Right now, without a fire going, we are sitting at 50 degrees on this very cloudy day. Cloudy and snow bonus. So we got kind of a little bit more major snowstorm last night. We got some inches out there. So, you know, this is a little bit of the first winter round test for this big thing. You know, this uh, is about... 36 feet, I think. And then it's about, yeah, it's a little over 40 feet with the storage room slash drying room over there. So we're getting all of our seeds and stuff ready to go for next year. And we've got other trees and stuff growing out here. And yeah, for not having a fire going or anything like that, uh, 50 degrees ain't too bad. And the lowest it's gotten in here is 49, you know, and that's without a fire. And outside right now, we're looking at about 22 degrees, I think, maybe 20 degrees, even in the middle of the day here with this snowstorm and the weather system that we got going on. So you can see we've got wind and everything else going, but we've also got a lot of, a lot of green plants and stuff going on out here. We can see the temperature out here is 43 degrees. The lowest has gotten is 38, so which is pretty decent seeing as we've drop pretty low in the teens for nighttime temperatures and very low 20s for the day. So we're at least staying almost 20 degrees warmer inside of this greenhouse without supplemental heat, just the sun, even though it's a cloudy day. And yeah, that's a little bit chilly, but you know, these plants can handle it. So we've got apple trees in here. Nika had brought in a bunch of and replanted a bunch of her broccoli and we've got pepper plants in here as well. We've got an avocado tree in the back right there. So you can definitely see how the plants are even still thriving, even though we've got snow on the ground outside. And that's, uh, you know, all these trees that will be growing will be able to flourish in here for sure a little bit longer through the winter. And they'll have the ceiling height. So we're going to end up having huge, you know, 10, 15 foot tall trees overall in the end. So, and we've got our solar system here. We've only got 1100 watts outside, so not enough to fill up our batteries for sure, but we are charging and keeping things charged and we've uh, keeping some of the lights on for some of the plants and the cloner machine inside, you know, so now we're getting into winter more. So we're probably gonna end up doing a lot more stuff inside projects inside the addition here we've got windows to clean and stuff and we've got things to organize as well for next season with the vegetables and whatnot so you know we still got strawberries even growing we've got celery that nika has been keeping going and transplanted in here multiple apple trees so we're looking to do lots and lots and tree lots of trees and you know the addition is nice because we'll definitely have a lot of room to start a lot of trees so but i want to take note about how warm it is in here on this super cloudy day you know we can even go out the door and we got some nice snow and some wind blowing yeah it's it's frigid out here so nika's got the rocket stove going so you can kind of see even with our rocket stove you know, most of that is just steam, I think. And for how cold it is outside, just that warm air mixing, you know, so we're, we're hardly even put, we're utilizing a good amount of the heat inside, 
with that rocket stove in the house and heating up the floor and all that stuff. It's getting cold. I'm going back in. Yeah, and even when you, you come from outside, even coming in here, it feels a whole lot warmer. You almost want to strip a layer down, even though it's 43 degrees. And then you definitely feel a warmer. It's just like a warm barrier. It's almost like warm air blasting you when you walk in here, even though, you know, seven degrees makes a big difference. So, but this is how warm the addition stays in the winter. And this is how we're kind of maximizing, you know, what we can grow here in uh, Southwest Montana with our sporadic weather systems, especially kind of our location where we're at off grid. Uh, we definitely get some weird weather patterns and some different effects compared to even people, you know, 20 miles away in town kind of deal. So, but, you know, not bad for how big uh, this addition is, honestly. You know, that's kind of one thing I've been wondering about with the addition is, you know, how warm or how cold is it going to stay? So, you know, we don't have everything even complete, but for how big this is, kind of how much more square footage, I guess, there is and greenhouse space um maybe the green you know more windows we've definitely got a lot more windows going on here so we've got glass that is covered by snow which i can brush that i've brushed that off a couple times already today but it i think it the bonus is that the vertical windows you know kind of conventional like on conventional houses is kind of the benefit there because there's still that light getting beamed in in here so and that's just solar gain even on a cloudy day, we're getting the solar gain. So 50 degrees compared to, uh, you know, 20 or 22 degrees outside, you know, that's <laughs> still a 30 degree difference, you know, 30 or 28 degree difference. That's amazing. And that's all still without even the rocket stove going. So I think that's just the power of Earthships and why, honestly, I kind of like to promote Earthships. You know, there's a lot, it's a lot of work and especially with the tires and stuff. But I think that's where, you know, building community with people and building up common interests and common ideas and progressive ideas can help, you know, make make this or turn this more from the Model T, you know, into the Lamborghini, so to speak. So and that that all that took was people being innovative and lots of people doing research and figuring out how to do it the best way and easiest way with inexpensive materials. So I think that's all it is, is that we just need more people kind of utilizing this idea of the Earthship concept, even though some people have commented that they don't like, you know, the architecture and, you know, maybe some of the, the concepts. But I guess it, to me, it, if it works, you know, let, let's go with it and maybe try to maximize, you know, different ways we can make it work in a similar fashion and still utilizing recycled materials and you know trying to make cut costs and as well as cut down on you know how much we're throwing into the landfill or the dump let all and all that so that's my ramble for this video so i'll keep it at that but you know it's pretty nice for a first winter in the addition and see yeah we don't even have our insulation done on this sidewall here so that's all bare some of this some of our gaps and stuff. So stay tuned because we definitely are going to be doing insulation. I'll get more time lapses going of just us doing work and, you know, working on the garden bed and stuff. So thank you for watching. If you've watched till the end, so like and make any comments or suggestions or uh, definitely ask any questions and uh, maybe suggestions for future videos. So everyone stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe though. Thank you.